This project is for the conservation of the ruin of the former Caledonia Road Church in Hutchinson Town Gorbals in the city of Glasgow. The project was conceived by two members of the Alexander Thompson Society, myself and Sally White, in 2007. In September last year, the project received planning permission and listed building consent from the city of Glasgow, and we are currently working towards uh, providing the information for building warrant application. We are indebted to the Glasgow City Council for funding the entire operation so far. The following three-dimensional visualization shows the building in its immediate context and explains the relationship between the new building and the ruin as the building was destroyed or partially destroyed by fire in 1965 and has lain empty ever since despite numerous projects aimed at its restoration. The project does not attempt a full restoration, merely the conservation of the ruin, the new building conceived as being the guardian of the old. The visualization starts from the north with the view to the north facade of the building, the place in front and the tall three-story entrance slot underneath the new building into the courtyard, which was the former nave of the church, which is left open. To the south is the cafe, and you can see the galleries occupying the space of the former meeting hall. There are the apartments at high level, with full with conservatories south-facing. And this is a view from the south, looking towards, obviously, the historic portico and the tower, and the facade of the meeting room, as we're running past Cuthcart Road just now. These windows will be reinstated, translucent glass. Here is the new build, one of the studios at the base and meeting rooms on the first floor, under the viaduct and the railway bridge, back up and into the place. Through the high entrance into the courtyard. The museum is this uh, projecting volume which you can see as we are approaching now. So into the place, past Thompson, under a copy of the bust of Thompson in the museum, and into the courtyard. Ahead is the cafe. To the right are the entrances to the apartments. To the left, the Alexander Thompson office, which is this space just immediately on the left. And we the first site. The entrance is actually on the axis of the tower. Here is the cafe bar and a planted wall with honeysuckle and Thompson related decorative motifs. The apartments and the historic doorway rescued from a uh, Bell Street portion of the so called Watson Street warehouses is the main entrance to the building. The cafe bar is open to the public and a the paying public enter through this rescued doorway. The gallery includes uh, is in two parts, one at ground level and the other here at first floor level, which are the more valuable artifacts. A stair from the courtyard connects you up onto the terrace above the roof of the Thompson Society. This is a lobby entering into the studios and we exit the building again into the public place. This is Crown Street development see in the background and the primary volume of the new museum. The courtyard is gated uh, at night for security purposes. The finishes are silver grey granite polished to reflect light and reflect the prismatic qualities of the building. The space before the building is to be known as Alexander Thompson Place. The site is bounded by two very busy roads and there's an island with Lauriston Street to the east, and Cathcart Road to the west, and the high level uh, railway viaduct immediately to the east of the, of the site. This is possibly to be reopened within the next decade as a light railway line from Strathbungo to the city centre.